So many times we have heard that as Christians, we do not need to, you know, just date for the fun of it, that we should actually have intentional dating, purposeful dating, you know. But recently I saw a video that someone said um, that the reason why relationships are, you know, having issues is because some people are too serious like sometimes just have fun date for the fun of it dates to just get to know a person you know that don't be too fixated on marriage because you're too fixated on marriage it end up getting ruined because both of you start pretending for yourself yeah the person had a lot of things and a lot of people were agreeing that it's true that sometimes just date for the fun of it <laughs> initially i was like nope i ain't doing that i am dating i'm not dating for the fun of it okay why waste my time you know but then and i started to think about it that you know someone now asked me like okay yeah god said yes god said this person was the one but i'm beginning to see signs that this person isn't really what i would want my husband to look like in terms of maybe character traits you know things that the person is doing the person's attitude to ministry the person's attitude to spiritual things um also maybe like the way the person is behaving to other people yeah someone might be a nice boyfriend to you but might not be a nice person to other people so in terms of all those kind of things when you start to see things when the person starts to encourage you to see should you still say okay um I want to marry this person even though God has said yes or I intended to marry this person. What is your take Fadi Kemi? Well in this video let's talk about it. <laughs> Okay, so let's get right into the topic of the day. Um, should every Christian relationship end in marriage? Is it compulsory? Yes, in the sense that you should be getting into the relationship with the intent of getting married. You shouldn't just be getting into the relationship for, oh, let's just see how it goes. Oh, let's just be fun. But you should also have it at the back of your mind that if it doesn't work, it's not the end of the world. So yes and no in the sense that yes, getting it's just like how you know, even with marriage, it's it's a risk, okay? Marriage, everything you do in this life is a risk. Some people don't know that they are risk takers, but it's actually a risk to come out of your house every morning to go to work. You don't know an accident can happen. So if you're scared to do anything in this life because you're afraid of the bad part what if what of the good parts right it's just like this quote that says that you know i don't want to start a business what if i fail and then the person responds what if you win you know you never know so it's the same thing with relationship it's a 50 50. both of you getting into it should have the intention for marriage it doesn't remove the dating purposefully but he it's it, it's put it at the back of your mind that this is dating this is not marriage okay you have to date intelligently like Lajo Iran said date intelligently but when you get married you now marry blindly right when you're dating open your eyes that's the meaning so when you're dating you're supposed to see all the signs that you want you can't say oh god said yes and god has given us a go ahead and then now the person is now you know fumbling the person is for example maybe something that is totally detestable like for example he slaps you the first time he slaps you and you're there like yeah, he will change he will not change i don't even care i don't want to hear anything anybody has to say nobody should tell me that yeah, maybe a mistake can happen. which useless mistake made you hit somebody's child are you a father are you a dating listen to me listen to me if you don't pack your bag now i really pity you i no amount of begging because the moment you accept the first one let me tell you the danger of accepting the first one the danger of accepting the first slap and coming back puts you at risk of more slaps because then when now slaps you the next time you can't leave for that same reason because now he's going to start saying oh but he's going to beg you within that same scope and thinking that okay he can get away with it or she because some women also hit their men <laughs> right so the danger of staying is that you are giving that person you have disrespected yourself you're giving that person more leverage to do the same thing to you again and again when you're dating is the time to be intelligent so even though people like us said oh i heard god say yes it doesn't mean i did not shine my eye i was opening my eye i made a wise decision in terms of choosing by 
per what the person was doing who the person said they were and i know that people can't pretend people can pretend is why we now put the god factor like okay god take this over because we know that people can pretend but the ones that they can't pretend about don't be ignorant about it don't ask god for sign like some people say oh god show me a sign then god starts to show you a sign like god show me a sign he has already shown you a sign <laughs> the sign you're looking for is in the way he is aggressive the way he talks to people the way he treats the waiters don't say that oh yes god has given a go ahead so maybe i must die there literally you don't have to die there <laughs> How is this person treating other people what are they, do you think that this person is going to be a good father now we don't have any like biblical list for husband or wife but there are a lot of references in scripture that we can take you know reference or we can take guidance from number one is scripture is clear that we are not supposed to be equal unequally yoked that we're not supposed to be in relationship or marriage with unbelievers but if it happens maybe both of you got married when you were unbelievers and now one person is a believer scripture says in first Corinthians 7 you don't have to leave the person right that's clear but before you are married you can make a wise decision there and then don't date unbelievers we already know that one now another reference you know we can take from the book of timothy 2 we're talking about why he was talking paul was telling timothy about the um criteria he should use to choose leaders and you might say oh but my husband is not a pastor yeah but he's going to be the leader of the home right scripture says that the head of the husband is the head of the wife it says they should love you like christ this person that you're with isn't loving you like christ we know that nobody is perfect but are you seeing signs of you know someone that is loving you like christ and you know a lot of people say oh People talk about relationship too much but the fact is and i used to be like that i used to say things like that too but i have quickly realized that relationship make up 80 percent 90 percent part of our lives and if your relationship life isn't doing fine there's a tendency not to do fine in many other aspects of your life for example if as a worker you left home with swollen face your husband beat you up to get to work and be effective will be hard to get to work and be efficient will be hard let's be honest so that's why it's important that we also balance things okay because if you don't fix your marriage but you you invest so much in your career in all these things all these your other aspects of your life but your marriage you're not investing in it the marriage will ruin the career you know <laughs> learn from it and say is this person that i'm with is he encouraging me to live a life of sin is he doing things that he shouldn't be doing is he characterless you know there are some christians that are characterless you don't want that for your husband or your wife so those are the things that we'll also look at now and, and some of them might say okay but god has said yes should i be saying no to god's yes my own answer is always stay where you last heard god so yes god said yes but now they are seeing character traits that you shouldn't see go back to god and say god i don't know what's going on pray about it i'm very sure that you will receive a leading look at saul okay god chose saul for for the book for the israelites they didn't want a king quite they, he didn't want them to choose a king quite all right but they wanted a king fine he because he's a good good father he still gave them a king he he actually anointed saul for that position it wasn't like a mistake but look at saul you know chose sacrifice over obedience that's what scripture, scripture says you know he chose to please the people over pleasing god and what happened he was replaced with david so don't ever say oh god has already said it he must die there no what if samuel said oh god but you don't have chose there samuel you don't have chose Saul now why do you want to choose david again ah me i don't want god forgive him no samuel did what he was asked to do and that's the interesting story about the book of jonah right jonah knew that god would repent <laughs> i studied the book of jonah today jonah knew that god would repent from you know um destroying Nineveh right so he didn't want to go because he knew the character of God that God is gracious but you see the thing Jonah was more scared about you know his own reputation because he didn't want to look like a liar so many of us are more scared about our reputation in front of people like oh I don't want to me that I'm already engaged I should now say I'm not marrying the person yes you can say it if the person is not for you it's not for you it's better a broken engagement is better than a broken marriage so this one is for the singles if you're already married you're already in it and you know that's a whole different ball game but for the people that are single it's important to make sure that you are not stuck in a relationship and just marrying the person just because some people you are just with the person because it looks okay it's a pastor figure you know man of god look and everything but you know deep down in your heart 
you're being emotionally abused he's talking you down you don't feel happy in the relationship there's so many things I have a video on um signs that show that god is asking you to break up i think you should check it out yes so i just hope that this video has really enlightened you more to see that you know not a, it doesn't it doesn't have to end in marriage if it is not right it does not and don't stay stuck yes this is another one don't stay stuck in a relationship because it has been long because you have been there for four years no you can meet someone in six months i'm i'm really saying this for someone right now you can meet someone in six months three months and i was one of those people that used to say ah three months is it okay to know someone but it's not true if you meet someone and the person is right for you your marriage can last years than someone that you met you have been dating for five years it can break it can end in one year so don't stay stuck on a relationship because of the length health is better than length i'll say that again health is better than length it's not how far it's how well how far is good how far is wonderful but if it's, if you're doing it well you will eventually go far but if you're stuck on oh i've gone too far i can't go back you are ruining yourself the maximum age that you are you're probably 30 or something or 35 or 40 and you're like oh i've already gone too old but think about it if you have like if you're going to be on this earth for like 90 years 80 years and you're supposed to be married to this person until you're 80 90 so you have 15 more years to go you have more time to spend with this person than the 25 years or the 30 years that you're spent on earth so why not make a better decision <laughs> I hope that this video has been helpful if it has please comment below let's continue the conversation in the comment section yes question of the day do you think that if someone is not enjoying the relationship the person should stay stuck up there comment below let's talk about it do you think that maybe the person should keep trusting god that the relationship will be fine should the person keep having faith or should the person go back to god and you know talk about it you know let's talk about it in the comment section i will see you guys in my next video remember to subscribe like and share liking is just giving this video a thumbs up yes and also share i will see you guys later